some some of them are getting across the barrier. But but so a really interesting thing is I think a lot of these molecules are um, if they're experienced at high enough doses are um, toxic or have toxic properties. We know that um, a lot of these um, metabolites, when they make their way into the bloodstream, eventually are excreted through the kidneys and urine. So actually we can monitor the metabolism that's going on in your gut by actually looking at the metabolites that are present in your urine because those many of those originated in your gut from your gut microbes. But people with kidney disease, whose kidneys um, filtering process is not functioning properly, actually um, build up high levels of many of these metabolites into the bloodstream. And um, that can lead to more of these molecules making it across the blood-brain barrier. And in fact, some of the um, transporters in the kidney that are responsible for shuttling these molecules out into urine are also found at the blood-brain barrier for shuttling the molecules back into the bloodstream if they do get across. Incredible. And, and we know that like mental fog is a big, one of the big symptoms of kidney disease potentially because a lot of these metabolites accumulate in blood and then make their way across the blood-brain barrier into yeah, this central nervous system. Amazing. 